for you. In this video, we discuss the mechanical properties of fluids. First of all, we must know what is a fluid. Anything which can flow in general is called a fluid. That includes liquids and also gases. But there are some particular cases, the extreme cases where the liquid acts like solids and gas acts like solids. Removing or avoiding those things. In general, what we see that which can flow easily can be taken as a fluid. Now in this part, we will be discussing the case of liquids at rest. So when the liquid is at rest, you can see that the force will be acting normally onto its surface. For example, suppose we consider a liquid which is at rest. Liquid of density rho is taken and at rest in this beam. Now, as the liquid is at rest, it cannot flow. Therefore, the force will be acting normally onto the liquid from all sides. As it acts normally, that normal force acting will be taken as thrust. So, force due to liquid column at rest, you can take it as thrust. And this thrust is acting normally onto an area, therefore it derives a pressure due to liquid column. That pressure will be equal to thrust by area. Thrust by area on which it is acting. And the unit is taken as Newton per meter square. And this is called Past denoted by P in power as a unit of pressure. So, as the liquid is applying first normally onto the surface everywhere it is resting, therefore, usually the force due to the liquid column is taken in terms of pressure of the liquid. Okay, so. If I consider this liquid column at rest, due to this liquid column, there will be a pressure exerted on the bottom surface here. That pressure is actually the normal force acting due to the liquid column on it. And that normal force will be in turn depend on the weight of the liquid taken in the beaker. So, there is a effect of gravity play on the pressure of the liquid or pressure due to the liquid core, the effect of gravity. Now to understand that effect of gravity, let us consider a small column of liquid here. For example, we consider a small column of liquid. Inside this liquid, I am considering a column of liquid. As all the liquids are at rest, this column of liquid also at rest. Therefore, if I take this height of the column as H and the area of the column as E, then if this column of liquid wants to be at rest, then the resultant force acting on this column of liquid will be zero. So from all sides there will be effect of force coming that is cancelling but effectively there will be a force holding it at that particular point and that let us say it is P2 into A. So there is a force that is P2 into A acting up. And same time at this place 
due to the column of liquid above this, there will be a force acting downward and that force is P1 into A. So pressure at this point of the angle is P1. P1 into A is the force downward. And effectively, the weight of this column acting downward let it be mg. So, these are the forces acting on that column and therefore, the resultant force, if you take the zero, say this one, resultant force is the zero. Then, when we write the resultant force, resultant force is equal to zero. The resultant force is equal to zero. So when we substitute, we get P2 into A minus P1 into A plus Mg is equal to zero. Because P1 into A downward, Mg also downward and therefore P2A minus P1 a plus mg equal to 0. Therefore, P2 into A minus P1 into A minus mg equal to 0 and therefore P2 minus P1 into A is equal to, I can take to the right hand side, where mg is the weight of this column of liquid. So weight of this column of liquid can be taken as its volume into density into gravity. So volume into density is mass, mass into gravity is weight. So this volume can be taken as volume of this much liquid that is equal to A into H into rho into G. The weight of that column can be taken as like that and therefore P2 minus P1 therefore will be equal to A into S into rho into G. Sorry, P2 minus P1 into A is equal to. So there is an A coming. P2 minus P1 into A equal to A into H into rho into G. And therefore, A and A cancels and we get P2 minus P1 is equal to H rho G. That means the pressure difference between these two points is equal to the H rho G you are getting. Now, from this you get P2 equal to P1 plus H rho G. So, effectively, the pressure due to the column of liquid of height is equal to H rho G you are getting. Now, if I take the column of liquid starting from here to here. So, at this particular point, at the bottom of the liquid, there will be a pressure, let that be P2. Then, at this if I take it as P2 pressure, and at this place if I take it as P P0, then, sorry, if I take this as P and this as P0, then P equal to P0 plus H rho G, I could say. So, here, P is the pressure at the bottom of the liquid and PO is the pressure at the top. That means, open to air and that pressure is called atmospheric pressure. So atmospheric pressure plus H rho G where I'm taking this as the whole height then it becomes let me say this whole height as H. Then if I take this whole height as H then I could take this to be equal to H rho G. So, pressure at this point will be due to this much column of liquid plus the atmospheric pressure.
So, this is the equation for pressure due to a column of liquid and effectively we found that pressure due to a column of liquid of height it depends on height of the column, density of the liquid and acceleration due to gravity. So, if there is no effect of gravity coming, no effect of pressure is possible. Okay. Now, one more point is that the expression pressure, pressure is expressed in two ways, one is absolute pressure and the other is gauge pressure. This is actually based on the reference standard we take. If you take absolute zero as the reference standard, that means the pressure of vacuum as the standard, then we get the pressure as absolute pressure. So here, if you take the pressure P, this P represents the absolute pressure at this point due to the system. That includes what? PO plus the pressure due to the score. Another reference is that gauge pressure. What is that? GAU G. Gauge pressure. So gauge pressure is actually the reference made with respect to the uh, atmospheric pressure at that place. So if that gauge pressure measuring instrument if it is open in that region, it measures the atmospheric pressure at that point. So if you take that thing for measuring the pressure at this particular point, you will be getting a pressure which is equal to H rho g that is the pressure difference between what absolute pressure and the atmospheric pressure that means pressure due to this much column along is called the gauge pressure so these are the points to be noted for the pressure due to the column of the liquid